foot pedal and it hasn't come yet. So I gotta try to get over there to the buttons with my hand while I'm playing, which is almost impossible. But I have done it. <laughs> it is possible. It doesn't always happen though. Sometimes I'm late. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've got a spot now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Anything you do will be brilliant, so don't worry about it. <laughs>
That's <laughs> good. You got my endings. <laughs> a lot more upbeat than that one. Yeah, that's than great. Than it's so it's like, I want to do this sort of world beat thing, and then I'm going to do the ambient thing. Can't decide which, so I keep going back and forth. It sounds like a perfect combination to me. Is that all? No. What does ambient, what is ambient? Well, I think Brian Eno was kind of the father of it, so he was thinking wallpaper music. You know, you, something that's nondescript, less in foreground, less something you concentrate on, more of a, a way to create an atmosphere. Right. And, you know, he would create these environments that were partly, you know, recordings of, you know, in, in places, like, you know, to make it sound like a lagoon or something. Mm -hmm maybe, you know, the actual environmental recording, but then he'd have electronics mixed in, other instruments mixed in. It was all very subtle, too. Some of it, he had a whole series of them back in the early 80s. I really liked those a lot. Kind of got me going with that stuff. But he mm. was influenced by people like John Cage and other people from way back, mm. you know, who were not just necessarily ambient, but the idea of chance and, and found sound and things like that, where it wasn't so structured, it wasn't so controlled. No, that shirt worked here. That Thanks. was great. Thank you. Now, is that a structured piece, or is that something uh, you just now? It just became just structured. <laughs> 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 no, it actually had a little, I had done something earlier that was a little bit like that. I've got some other things on here that are just, again, like that. You might see what, I don't even remember what I've done here. I mean, it's just another, another ambient one. you up on certain levels. You know, you know it's funny because I think this, this stuff actually has more power to it than the rhythmic stuff even. It almost seems like it's just got more kind of... Yeah. It's tranquil, but it's... Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I don't even need that. So I just keep thinking, what, what can I get at? Get at Get rid of. Get rid of. Well, <laughs> <laughs> from what you just did, that was very powerful by itself. Yeah. Like that. Someday I'll have it reduced to just like one little thing. You know, like this big. <laughs> Speaking of little things, It'll all come out what is brain. that? Is that like a theremin? Oh, yes. No, it, it's um, it's called Aerofax, um, and it has fifty different programs that do things. And, and depending on, and I was doing like distorted guitar sound for a while there. It was just basically distorting this stuff. But then I had a flanger going, and it does yeah. a whole bunch of different stuff. Wow, that's still, I've never even heard of that. It's kind of cool. Again, it came out about a year ago. Wow. Right before my concert, I thought, oh, I want one of those. Uh, it was something to do. Like, people were fascinated. What is he doing with his hand? You know, his hand over it. <laughs> right, it's like really sci-fi. It's like yeah. from 2001, it's the got, movie. You know, it's got the XYZ coordinates and, and some sort of UV that comes out of there or something. And really? It, and it reacts to your hand movements. Wow. Yeah. Well, let's see. I'll get it going. I'll show you a bunch of things. Sending the signal, the audio signal through that device, or are you affecting it's that other device? Search. And you can have it um, post what's on here or pre when you're going into it, which uh -huh. is really great. You know, I love that because you can record what you're doing yeah. into it with right. that thing if you have enough hands. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's kind of fun. Yeah.
Have you ever been on uh, Hearts of Space? Yeah. Yeah. With this stuff? Uh, not this particular, but some of my albums, they play on there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put you to sleep. Well, it's very, like you said, it's very tranquil. It's very... Uh,